Hi everyone, I'm very lucky to be stood here with Mr. David Soper. So, if you didn't know, Dave's kind of celebrating 30 years of winning his last Slayer Sword. 30 years, or 32 years now, he did a Nurgle tank. And as most of you probably know already, he's kind of recreated with that. So, I just kind of want to know, David, is there anything, like, you know, how do you feel about 30 years on, still doing this competition, and bringing something like this, you know, what does it mean to you? Oh, it, it, it just means so much. I, I'm so emotionally invested in, in that tank from 30 years ago. Yeah. Um, and it it all started at a winner's day when I, I brought the old tank along. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I think and I came to that Yes, one, you were there, yeah. 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 Um, and it was really to say, look, that's what you used to in a Slayer sort of 30 years ago. Things have changed so much. Yeah. And my mate Lee said, well, Put your money where your mouth is then. Why don't you do a new one? And I've, oh no, ridiculous idea. It, it, I'm setting myself up for so much failure there and it's yeah. such a stupid expectation, but the idea wouldn't go away. So it, it bubbled away and bubbled away. And, event, and about four years ago, I decided, you know what, I am going to do it because nice. it's such a big model for me. And I do think, yeah, I could, I could do it so much better. I could do so much more on it with the idea. The models are so much better. You had a couple of years practice. I did, yeah. <laughs> Um, and, and I also thought it's a little bit self-referential. It's very self-referential. But I thought, <laughs> yeah, you know, 30 years is a landmark. It, it, it's something that, that, you know, winning in those early years and then being able to come back and then win again and, and you know, keep up there at that level, which yeah, is what exactly. I really wanted to do. But I think um, you might feel that way, like, oh, am I being indulgent or something like that? But <laughs> us, we're excited to see it. It's super, super cool. So it's I, really I nice. Have, my, my big worry was because it, it was such a self-indulgent idea potentially. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And what, what happened is what I was hoping was happen was that as I started the project, I began to enjoy it for its own right because that's the yeah. only reason to do it. Yeah. You know, if I wasn't enjoying it, if I was only doing it because I wanted to repeat my success and mm. recreate the model and win a sword with it, that's doomed. I mean, that, that, you're not going to enjoy you're setting it. setting yourself up to fail. Exactly. I thought, we'll see how it goes. And I just loved it because it... I, at the last Demon um, 2019, I just felt I needed to shake it up a bit. I thought I was getting too comfortable. Yeah, cool. I was doing what I did, yeah. and it was doing very well. Single figures mostly. Yeah, yeah. yeah single figures. Um, yeah. And, and I just, I thought, you know what? I, it was my sloppy bar piper, and I thought, I've just done what I always do with him, and that's fine. But I need to, you know, you can't stay still. You can't just sit back and say, I've won a sword, I can always win a sword. You can't. No. You, you, you just cannot assume that because you won something one time, you're going to do it again. Yeah. So I wanted a project that was going to challenge me. Yeah. This was already bubbling away in the background. I thought, yeah. okay, that's going to be, I'm going to start it. Yeah. And, it, and it, it totally turned my painting on its head. But the size of it alone. I think that's what we're all impressed by is like how you can get that level on something so big and it's yeah it's just just amazing to see i think all of us on the outside are excited to see it uh build up and get painted they're just kind of fascinated yeah, by the it, process it's, it's been lovely because so many people have sort of come along on the journey and yeah. followed it because that, that's always been the nice thing about that tank from 1990. Mm. people remembered it wow I mean, yeah. it, it, was, it, it was covered a lot in, in like dwarf it, it yeah. got a lot of coverage but you know when i came back in the hobby maybe people didn't know who i was mm. but they knew what that tank was yeah yeah and then there was always, often that moment when someone would say you're the guy that did that tank, yeah. and I knew the tank. So wow, that's really cool. Yeah, it's lovely, yeah. It's really nice, and, and it really took me back by surprise, because I, I used to get it a lot, and it was yeah, it's such a warm feeling for that tank. Um, and so I thought, it's, it's just, there's a little glow about it, that yeah. project, and I thought, I wonder if I can get something of that back, something of a nostalgia. Well, I think um, what I admire is that it's clearly a project for you. Yeah. It feels like you've done it for yourself and your enjoyment. Yeah. And I think, you know, if anyone asks, so what, what, what's the advice for Golden Demon? I'd say, you've got to do it for you. You've, you've got, got to, to keep do them something on you like. love doing. No tactics, no, like you said. No. And, you, and you're, it feels like you're doing this tank for you. And I, that's just really, really cool. Yeah. So like you said, you might have those worries. Like, I hope this doesn't look indulgent. Nobody thinks that. Everyone's excited to see it. And it's just really cool. I'd also love to know, you know, is there any other entries that you absolutely love here today? Is there anything else that stands oh, out? Um, I mean, obviously Chris Clayton's giant. Yeah. That, that <laughs> one just sings off the shelf. I mean, how, how do you feel when you see a piece like that? Because yourself, multiple sword winner, mm. we're all like, wow, this is amazing. But you know, how do you feel when you see a piece like that? I always get a buzz. 
Yeah. I, that's that's the nice thing I've always got from Golden Demon. It, it, yeah. it stimulates me. If I see and if I see something that scares me, but yeah. you know, and it, it's not oh I'm in trouble. It, it, yeah. There's a bit of that. But <laughs> yeah. it, it's more that I want. I want to do that. I want to be able to do that. I, I want know. to be able to. That's what I'm aiming for. When you when you see a, a piece of work that really is excellence, think, that's the target. That's where we're aiming. That's what I'm trying to achieve. I want to be up there with that. I think that for us, it's pretty unbelievable to have a golden demon, whether it's a piece like yours, and there's multiple pieces like that as well. Uh, we were kind of talking about it before, but I kind of feel, I was like, I feel this is the strongest Golden Demon I've seen. Yeah. Uh, and would you agree with that? Yeah, totally, totally. I, definitely for me, I, I, I just, I, I was going around the cabinets and I, I had this grin. Yes. Just seeing all the beautiful, and the standards. This is what we want to see, a yes. Golden Demon. A yeah. real buzz from it. Yeah. It really is, it, it, it's, yeah, it's the best one I've ever been to. And do you think it's the best because of the the general standard or the the high, you know the few pieces in the top? Oh, what I think, do you think it's the makes... general standard. It, it, yeah. There are standout pieces, but I think there are so many. I mean, you can see there are so many pieces with the commended. There yeah. are so many pieces with with just the, uh, the pins. I think more than normal, and I, I think that's reflecting the fact that the whole standard has come up. Yeah, it's it's really great. I think all of us are very excited to come back after three years. Yeah following yeah. projects like this and finally seeing in the cabinets yeah. uh, and it's just been a, an absolute celebration well Dave it's been really nice to talk to you and you good luck we're really happy to see your tank finished and thanks for talking with us thank you my pleasure see you soon